in staggering numbers, we are sexually, emotionally, and physically abused as children. Our boundaries are transgressed and eroded by inattention and bullying, by neglect and unwanted touch. We often address these painful woundings by armoring ourselves against all feeling, or by dissociating and going along with sexual scenarios we don't author and don't want. Finding our way back to an erotic connection with all life requires us to relearn and reinforce our boundaries. For survivors of sexual abuse and others, navigating desire and communicating choice in highly charged sexual exchanges with a partner can feel impossible. Somatic sex education provides an arena in which a woman receiving can stay safe and focused. She is encouraged to breathe into body sensation and decide, moment to moment, what her body wants. Stay in communication. Be sensitive to non-verbal cues. If you feel the person on the table flinch or freeze, if you notice they have stopped moving or that their breathing has become shallow, these are important clues that it's time to stop. Be still and allow the person receiving to come back into their body and back into connection with you. When someone has experienced sexual abuse, the mindful receiving of erotic touch can raise entangled memories and complex emotions. Somatic sex educators need to be very sensitive and very patient as their students face their fears and find their pleasures. As somatic sex educators, we bring our open, loving hearts to our students. Wherever they are on their journey of erotic empowerment, we greet them with our unconditional positive regard. Being seen and held in respectful, embodied love can initiate a healing journey that takes us far beyond repair. We can help our students find a life of joy, passion, and interconnection.